Um, so right now I just finished up student teaching at, shout out, Odessa Montour, shout out Kyle Moser. Um, it's been a great experience with the high school and middle school students. Um, in a couple weeks, I'll be going to a new school, working with elementary students. So I'll get the K through 12 experience. Uh, I'm quite excited uh, just to get closer to that certification and knowing that I could be a full-time teacher. It's exciting. I hope to be a full-time art teacher, uh, K through 12. I don't know which is uh, my favorite yet. I'm still figuring that out. And then I hope to be doing this on the side for as long as I can. And you never know, maybe one day professionally, full time. So that's kind of my goal. Working with students artistically is quite interesting. You have the ones that they don't care, they want nothing to do with it, which is fine. And then you have the ones that care a lot and put so much effort into their projects. And it's inspiring for me because you learn from them and they come up with their own ways and their own techniques. And it's really fun, it is. And to be able to talk to students about why they're doing what they're doing and why they include a certain object or subject in total, it's, it's a lot of fun. My art teachers growing up were amazing and we did, we worked with so many different materials. I think that was the best part. You know, clay and sculpturing and just so many different materials that I learned so much growing up. I didn't know I wanted to be an art teacher until about senior year of high school, I believe. I, I knew I wanted to do something art related because that was my favorite thing to do, but I didn't know where to take that, which direction. Both of my parents were teachers. My dad was a professor, um, both for a very long time. So I've seen what they've done and how they've approached their teaching careers and to me that was inspiring as well. So I've learned a lot from them just by how they've taught. I would love to, you know, one day have my own gallery, you know, invite artists, you know, um, sell my paintings, help other artists sell their paintings, maybe have workshops and almost like a small atelier type thing you know, have live drawing sessions. There's so much that you can do with other people and art. So a lot of times you think you can just be stuck in your room by yourself making what you want, but there's way more than that. You know, you can, you can draw with other people and spend time creating with other people. So something like that in the future would be pretty cool. As I spend all my hours up here working and painting, all of these windows around is a 360 view of inspiration every single time I'm up here. Uh, when it gets later in the day and the sun gets low and the light is just like beaming through here, it's amazing. Or in the morning when the sun is just kind of coming up and the light's beaming through here, it's amazing. So to be up here, spending my time painting by myself usually, but Sometimes my girlfriend, Karina, she'll be up here for a few hours with me, so that's very nice. Um, but my time up here is very precious right now because I don't have that much more of it. Even though a lot of the work happens up here physically painting, there, there's so many hours that I spend outside of the studio researching and learning, listening to podcasts, watching videos, looking at Patreons, different subscriptions to different artists, different email lists. There's so much that I pay attention to and try to listen and read about that I get so much inspiration from what other artists out there are doing. Um, I'm trying not to copy anybody. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to find my own way in the art world, but by learning from what others are doing, it's is very important, I believe.